All right, we're in Los Angeles, California, and we're gonna spend the day here, check out some sites. First place we're going to is Venice Beach. I've seen pictures of it and read about it since I was a kid. It always seemed such a, like a cool place. But uh, I was reading on the news this morning that the homeless situation has gotten out of control here. So, thank you for that, Siri. So, uh, we're gonna go check it out. Oh, and by the way, the traffic is as bad here <laughs> as they say. Traffic in Los Angeles is terrible. I can't believe you doubted it. Anyway, we're gonna head this way. So we're uh, driving along Venice Beach. It's to the left here. I'm trying to find parking as usual. <laughs> parking is always one of the most difficult things about coming to these cities. There's just not enough places to park your car. We are uh, here in Venice Beach. Looks like a, uh, you know, it looks like a beach town, to be honest with you. Really nice, though. Um, this is in, what, the first week of February? Yeah. We're in the, the first, we're in the first week of February. Well, today's the 10th? And it is supposed to get to 89 today. That's, that feels like summer in most places. <laughs> anyway, there's a shot of the Pacific Ocean. The beach is really pretty. It's pretty early in the morning during the week. Uh, what is today, Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday? Living on the road, we can't even remember what day it is half the time. But <laughs> it's the Thursday before the Super Bowl. Luckily, we'll be getting out of here tomorrow. Wouldn't want to even try to be here for the Super Bowl. But um, we're just going to cruise around here a little bit and check it out. But I have to say, it's really nice. I've yet to see any of the uh, homeless people that were, are on the news this morning. So here's the beach. It's pretty quiet because it's early in the day, I guess, during the week. But uh, the skateboarding park is busy with people. What you expect to see here? Let's get a shot of the surroundings here. What do you think so far, huh? Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> huh? Well, here's a homeless guy here. He's the only one I've seen so far. The only homeless guy I've seen here so far is right there. They said on the news this morning that the place is overrun. Yeah. Haven't seen it yet. Alright, so we're just going to walk down the famous Venice Boardwalk. Looks like a, a beach to me. It's really nice though, huh? Lots of shops and of course, of course all the sh all the shops and stuff you expect to see. What'd you say, him? He's, he's playing, these are a few of my favorite things. Oh, is he? <laughs> a few of my favorite things, huh? One-eyed dog, that's not something you see every day. Look at that. A little tattoo, henna tattoos, okay. I say the beach is beautiful. No, it is. No, it is. It's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, he's just talking to himself. He's homeless. That is a perfect example of someone who uh, slipped through the crack because of mental disability. Honestly, it's kind of sad. You can still hear him preaching. Yeah, he's just preaching to anybody and nobody. <laughs> I guess that stuff's for sale. Wow. Look at those uh, Transformers. Bumblebee there. That would cost a lot, I bet. Haven't really seen a lot of these homeless people that they say are here. 
Anyway, we're going to head out. We've got a lot of other places to see today. Lots to squeeze into one day. Yeah, lots to squeeze in one day. Well, as you can see, we are at a cemetery. You're probably going, damn Spoda, you're old, but you're not that old. Surely you're not ready to be put in the ground yet. <laughs> no, that's not why we're here. We're here to see two of the women that I grew up in love with. They're both here. And when I came to LA, I told myself I would have to go to their graves. So it's just a matter of finding her. Yep, yeah, right here. Marilyn Monroe. Watched her movies as a kid and totally in love with her. It's hard to believe that I'm just a couple feet away from... Her dust? Yeah, I guess her dust is how mm -hmm. you call it. Her remains. That's not a nice way to put it. Her dust. <laughs> her remains. And of course it's well known that Hugh Hefner's right uh, next to her. When she was buried here, he bought the spot next to her. Mm -hmm. Long, long ago. Fully intended to be buried right next to her. I know, that's a little morbid. I would never buy my burial spot. Well, a lot of people do it. I know, it's weird. It's an interesting place. We're in the middle of this a century city off Wilshire. It wasn't easy to find. It's very calm and peaceful here, but Right in the middle of hustle and bustle. Yeah, you look right above and we're surrounded by tall buildings. It's really crazy. Oh, and you can hear like sirens and stuff, like ambulance, and it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just give you a look at what's around here. I got to go to her grave one more time. I still have a huge collection of Marilyn Monroe prints. I have her Playboy uh, centerfold framed, really nice. It's one of my prized pictures on the wall. Wow, right here is Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. Right here, there she is. It's crazy. Never thought I would be here. There's a lot more here too. Uh, a lot of other famous graves here too, so we're gonna go to them next. Now there's a lot of famous people that I was, or am a big fan of, buried here. This is Walter Matthau. And this is Ray Bradbury, one of the great authors. I still have her poster. <laughs> I was her number one fan. I grew up in a super Christian household with three brothers and my mother only allowed Janis Joplin, my dad, that yeah. poster. Farrah Fawcett. Oh, yeah. Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I had Farrah Fawcett and I had uh, Marilyn Monroe, and they're both here. Those are the two posters on my Where wall. Is Marilyn? She's right straight across. Um, in the. Uh, yeah, depth. It, see the building there? Yep. And the ones to, right to the right? She's right there in that in corner. The yeah, there's Merv Griffin. And then uh, right up here to the left is one of my favorite comedians of all time. I was genuinely sad, maybe even cried when he passed away. Rodney Dangerfield. There goes the neighborhood. So I'm standing just above him. So the guy who made Caddyshack so funny is right there. Caddyshack, one of my all, all, all time favorite movies. All right, so still here, this is Jim Backus from uh, Gilligan's Island. So here he is. In a nice, calm, peaceful place. Finally, it took me a minute to find her, but there's one more grave that I definitely wanted to visit. Betty Page, queen of pinup. So cool. I've got a couple of prints of her too. It's amazing how many of my favorite actors and actresses and people I admired are buried right here in this little bitty cemetery right here in the middle of the city. 
amazing. All right. Well, the wife is not as excited about this as I am, so I guess we're heading out to our next destination. We are on Sunset Boulevard. There's the Beverly Hills Hotel. Heading to Whiskey A Go Go, the place I've always wanted to go to. Many a legendary band has launched their career. There's a menorah over there, that's weird. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh yeah, it is. Many a legendary band, continuing on, has launched their career at this bar, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. I read all these uh, biographies and autobiographies of rock stars. They talk about their days playing at the Whiskey A Go Go. So, yeah, I'm excited. All right, we're coming upon the Rainbow Room. I'm having no problems filming because the traffic here is so bad. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look how small it is, huh? The Rainbow Room. Yeah. Another world famous bar. Wow, Slash. I think he's gonna play there tonight. <laughs> I'd go see that. So here it is. Yeah, the Whiskey A Go Go. We're gonna to try to find a place to park. That, of course, is going to be the trick. We found a place to park the Bronco. It was not easy. <laughs> so we are walking along Sunset Strip right now. And that's the Whiskey A Go-Go up on the corner. One of the legendary businesses, buildings, sites, whatever you want to call it, if you love rock and roll music. Van Halen, Guns N' Roses, God, who else? Skid Row. Poison, all these bands launched their careers at the Whiskey A Go Go. So we are going to go in and have a drink. The weather's incredible here, though, by the way. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's about 85 degrees in February. Not even middle of February, or February yet, right? We're into the, just started the second week of February. And the weather's insane. It's like summer. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's beautiful. What, what, a week, week and a half ago, we were in New Mexico and five to 11 degrees weather with snow and here we are now me wearing my shorts and sandals in summer-like weather here in southern california anyway there it is the whiskey a go-go the legendary rock music venue we're gonna go inside and check it out rock and roll hall of fame museum whiskey a go-go since opening in 1964, Whiskey Go Go has been one of the world's most prominent and important rock and roll venues. The stage serves as the launching pad for generations of music legends. Johnny Rivers, Frank Zappa, The Doors, Buffalo Springfield, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Van Halen too. Well, we have been thwarted. <laughs> it doesn't open till 7 p.m. and it's like 2 o'clock. They will open till when? 7 p.m. he said. Uh, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, we're not gonna be here that late. I couldn't imagine coming down here. I mean, you can't find parking now in the middle of the afternoon. So, that's the end of that. We're down the street at the Rainbow Room now. I'm gonna try to see if we can have a drink there. Wow, Fleetwood Mac, Sting, Elvis, like AC, DC. David Bowie, yeah, ACDC, Smashing Pumpkins, Van Halen, White Zombie, Garbage, Queen, <laughs> Corn, huh, Judas Priest. I believe they get uh, bricks if they have play, or played here. Anyway, it says Bar and Grill, so we're going to tr try, I don't know. That's, And a look at uh, Sunset Boulevard. It's a zoo here. So here it is. We go in and check it out. Yeah. So we are at the Rainbow Room now, which is a couple doors down from Whiskey A Go Go. And this place is legendary in itself. This is where the rock stars hung out. I'm reading it on the internet. Alice Cooper, Mickey Dolenz, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, yeah. Neil Diamond, Elvis Presley, John, Johnny Cash, all hung out here. Slash, 
you know, Axl Rose, John Belushi, Elton John. <laughs> they would all play near here and then hang out at this bar. Anyway, we're here in the afternoon, so it's a little bit quiet, but the stories the walls here would tell, I bet would be crazy. Crazy cool. Especially to rock and roll fans like myself. The, we sat out on the patio earlier, but this is the inside of the Rainbow Room. It's incredible. Very quiet right now because it's early in the afternoon. Amazing. The history. A groupie hangout. This is where all the groupies hung out, including the rock stars. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. All right, we're going to a place that I've always wanted to go. Because when I was a kid, I was in love with Marsha Brady. <laughs> That's right. Turn left onto Clump Avenue. All right, thank you for that, Siri. Clump Avenue. Clump. <laughs> yes, as a 12, uh, 12, 13 year old, I wanted to marry Marsha Brady, so that's the clue. <laughs> we are going to the Brady house. According to Siri here, we are just a mere half mile, a little less away. Want to give you a look at the neighborhood. So this is what it looks like, where the Bradys grew up. Not exactly what I pictured. How about you, hon? No, I thought it was going to be all single family homes. Yeah, you probably didn't even watch the Bradys, let's get serious. Did you watch the Brady Bunch? I did, I watched it on reruns. I watched it all the time, actually. I watched the Brady Bunch and uh, I was in love with Marsha Brady, but then I started taking a liking the, uh, who was the middle one? Turn left. Jan. Jan, Jan yeah. Then turn left. Can't then, remember her name. Street. And then when Susan grew up, I started getting a crush on her, but let's see. Susan, who's Susan? Su is it Susie? Susan no. Brady? Yeah, no, the youngest one? No. It's Cindy. Cindy, that's right, Cindy. Can't God. even get their names right. Can't even get their names it's right. How pathetic, huh? Because you're old. Because I'm old. <laughs> I believe this is the house, though. Is this it right here? Where's it at? This is it right here. <laughs> that's it. That's the Brady house. Where? Which right house? there. That's it? That's it. The Brady Bunch house. Are you but, sure that's the right one? Yeah, that's it right there. How do you know that's the right one? That's it. That's the Brady Bunch house. Yeah, it looks kind of like it. It's it. We gotta turn around up here, see if we can get back. I'm sure the people that live there- the Brady's live on a cul-de-sac. <laughs> Look at that, there's a canal. Yeah, I always thought they lived in a cul-de-sac too, but they don't. I'm gonna turn around, head back over there. <sighs> I'm sure the people get tired of live there, tired of the people gawking at it, but sorry. Oh well. Shouldn't have bought that house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here I am turning around. Yeah. Let's get another look at it. And then we'll be on our way. All right, so here we are. Clump Avenue. There it is. <laughs> That's the Brady Bunch house. Private property, it says. Yeah. How awesome, huh? <laughs> All right, that's one I can cross off my list. <laughs> we have to go six, it's six miles to the Hollywood sign, and it's going to take 30 minutes to get there. That's nuts. 30 <laughs> minutes to go six miles. <laughs> that's just crazy. And then we got to go all the way to Five minute miles. our hotel's in Orange County, so I'm not looking forward to that because it's already uh, three o'clock. I don't know if you can see the houses up there on the side of the mountains. I mean, I can't even imagine how expensive they must be. But that's the direction we're heading. We're continuing the journey to the Hollywood sign. Look at that up there. Oh, Ooh. That's crazy. Those are houses that cost millions of dollars. And the lights crazy. Right Siri says turn right here. That is a, okay, so this is Hollywood, okay. Wow. Never seen anything like that. 
Mm. All right, we're gonna head this way now. In one mile, turn left onto North Avenue. All right, we're turning left in a mile. It's Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, it just says Hollywood, so I assume it's Boulevard. It just says Hollywood. <laughs> they, all these signs, they don't say whether it's street, road, whatever, they just have the name. Again, the traffic is bad, like yes, everywhere right. else. Isn't that funny? Oh, now that one says Hollywood BL. Okay, okay. but Hollywood Boulevard, them, then. A lot of them. I'm like here in an intersection. Yay! <laughs> Trying to get uh, the last few Sierra miles Bonita. to the Hollywood sign, huh? Sierra Bonita. I mean, it's it's lovely. Don't get me wrong; it's pretty here, but um, I haven't seen hardly any homeless people either. You read the stories about the homeless problem in uh, well, I doubt Los Angeles. I doubt they'd be in like the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> yeah, obviously they're not here. They must be like in downtown, which we haven't went to. I'm not going we to saw this trip. Some of them on a, on a, what was the name of the beach we went to? Yeah, a few. But this place is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I couldn't I couldn't live in this kind of traffic. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Onto Franklin Avenue. Turn right on Franklin. Alright, we got a green light. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, an update. We are still slowly crawling <laughs> towards the Hollywood sign. One of the landmarks of the Los Angeles area. We've only got three miles to go, but it's gonna take a long time to get there. <laughs> Look at this, this is insane. Look how beautiful it is though, huh? Yes. It yes. is really gorgeous. Yeah. I guess that's why all these people come here. Hmm. Yeah, we just crossed this freeway from the left side to the right side. That was nerve wracking. But we're over here, and this is our exit Barham Boulevard. Woohoo! Open road in front of us. Now that's shocking. We're getting closer, two miles to go. We are on Lake Hollywood Drive now. As we head up, huh. we go this way in. Yeah, it looks like we go this way. Or, you know, oh, this road. wow. Look at all these houses up here. <laughs> Millions of dollars for these little houses. Mm -hmm. That's what they would cost. Here. Parking here, this has got to be it. Ooh, look at this view. In one mile, <laughs> bear left onto Tahoe Drive. Yeah, look at that. That is some view, huh? We're under a mile to go. Hmm. Well, there's no traffic up here, is there? <laughs> oh, that's nice. This is the first time we've been anywhere near Los Angeles and there's not been traffic. <laughs> I guess everybody's been here, done that. As far as the Hollywood sign goes, huh? I guess, I don't know. Looks like it. Okay. Huh? It's kind of funny they have to fence the solid. Well, people will drive off, you know. There it is. I'm going to slow down for a second. You can see it through the trees there. See it? Did you see it? Huh? I didn't see it yet. You can't see oh, it. Oh, I see it. I see it. We can see it. We're almost there. I see it. The world famous Hollywood sign. So people live up here. Hmm. <laughs> there it is. You see it? Mm hmm. I wonder why they decided to take the land there it part is. off huh? it. Why couldn't it stay Hollywood land? I don't know. I figured that's too long. And <laughs> yeah, we're getting close. All right, there it is. So we're making a right on Canyon Lake Drive, right? In a quarter of a mile, right. the destination is on your left. Hollywood sign view. Point two of a mile, we're getting close now. Wow. Is that what all these people There's are here Lake for? Lake Hollywood Park. Huh? There's a Lake Hollywood Park right there. Oh look, look how pretty. 
at the very top almost. Oh, here we are. Hmm. Of course, the, the usual trick, finding the parking. But there it is, the Hollywood sign. How about that? We have arrived. Well, we're here now. There it is. All this, just to see that. Is it worth it? I guess so. Very beautiful here though. I mean, it's gorgeous. Isn't it, huh? I thought we could get closer. Yeah, I think this is as close as we can get. Yeah. And there's better places to take pictures. I wanted to climb on the H. You want to climb on the H? Yeah, they don't let you do that anymore. <laughs> People do that. And... Anyway, let's go up this way. Kind of far away, huh? I got a little bit of a fence there. But other than that, nothing's going to stop you from tumbling down this uh, hillside here, ravine, into those woods, which look pretty thick. It probably yeah, it would hurt. hurt. <laughs> it would hurt. Yeah. I don't think it would kill you, but it would hurt. Yeah. I'm going to walk over this way. Huh? I'm going to walk along the edge here. It is downright hot up here, isn't it? It must be 90 degrees plus. Anyway, there we are. Broncos behind that tree. In the valley that way. Another shot of the sign. This is where all the folks are congregating. <laughs> and there's a lookout over here. Make sure nobody hits me. Wow. A lot of undeveloped area here. Anyway, we come up here and I should see a good view of the valley. Yep, there it is. Wow. So this is what it looks like around the Hollywood sign. Slow pan around. This is where very wealthy people live. I mean, those houses there, can you imagine? They don't even look that nice, though. Oh, they cost a lot of money. I'm sure they do. I can guarantee you that. All right, so we're here. We're gonna take a couple pictures and then we're gonna head back to the hotel because it's in Orange County, which is 30 miles away, which will probably mean, what, two hour drive? Hopefully not. So, we're gonna come back to Los Angeles eventually. This is what we want to see today. Well, I'm about to slip down into the... <laughs> I'm about to end up down there. I, fi I figured the fence would catch you. Maybe. I want to go downtown. I want to drive down Skid Row. I'll have That's to do that on the next trip. Yeah. All right, so after we take our pictures, we're heading back to the hotel, get ready for our next destination. All right, our time in Los Angeles is done. We stayed at the Courtyard Marriott, mm -hmm. Orange County. Yeah, had a good gym, uh, you know, a swimming pool, no hot tub, but we knew that. No mm -hmm. breakfast, but we knew that. Yeah. Got a laundry room. You know, the ice machine works, I everything. Like the room too, I like the room. Yeah, the room is spacious. Yeah. And uh, so it's pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, uh, overall pretty good experience at uh, this hotel. So what do you think, huh? 4.4. Yeah, 4.4, that sounds good. All right, we are uh, gonna be heading to San Francisco next, so be looking for that video.